Welcome to another Teach Me Microcontroller episode. In this video, I will show you how to use a Hall Effect Sensor. The module I am holding features the SS4090 Linear Hall Effect Sensor. Basically, this sensor gives a voltage proportional to the strength of the magnetic field near it. The module also contains an LM393 operational amplifier, working as a comparator, and a potentiometer for tuning the sensitivity of the sensor. Hall effect is a physical phenomenon wherein the introduction of a magnetic field on a current carrying conductor tends to draw or push charges away from the center of the conductor. This asymmetry creates a potential difference across the conductor. The side to which the charges go depends on the polarity of the magnet. To test the Hall effect module, we will connect it to an Arduino. The module contains only four pins. The plus pin on the module powers the sensor. Thus, this connects to the 5V pin of the microcontroller. When powered, the red LED on the board turns on. The G pin on the module means ground. This connects to any of the ground pin of the Arduino. The A0 pin of the module produces a voltage proportional to the strength of the magnetic field near it. This pin can be connected to any of the analog pins of the Arduino. Here, I connected it to the A0 pin. Finally, the D0 pin goes high every time a magnet is detected. The sensitivity can be adjusted by turning the potentiometer. Also, when this pin goes high, a green LED on the board turns on. This pin connects to pin 2 which is one of the external interrupt pins of the Arduino. I will be using a small magnet from a speaker to test the sensor. The green light turns on, indicating it has detected a magnet. However, when I turn the magnet to its other side, the LED doesn't turn on. I upload a sketch to see what voltage the sensor is producing. When no magnet is near, the reading is around 2.5 volts. When a magnet is placed near it and the green LED turns on, the voltage decreases. When the other side of the magnet is placed near it, the voltage increases. After verifying that the sensor works, I added more items to the original circuit. I added an I2C LCD, and speaker. The wiring diagram is available on the link provided in the description of this video along with the full sketch. Here, I tested the device with different types of magnet I found on my toolbox. The larger the magnet, the greater its magnetic strength reading. Also, one side of the magnet gives negative values while the other side gives positive values. This speaker magnet is the strongest of the three I tested. Click on the link in the description for the written version of this video. Please subscribe.